Peace and love. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. 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 Welcome to the final part of Criminal Records. Can Ringo Starr beat Paul McCartney to be the naughtiest Beatle? No, no he can't. Ringo is the shortest and the poorest Beatle, but he's also the goodest. He's never been arrested. And just, I mean, honestly, if, if you're a drummer and you can do this, and have people dancing, you're a fucking badass. He wasn't a saint. He certainly used drugs and had a real booze problem. Like Lennon, he possibly did use his fists on his wives. I used to be cruel to my woman. I beat her and kept her apart from the things that she loved. But he admitted it, regretted it, booked into rehab and reformed. Man, I was mean, but I'm changing my scene And I'm doing the best that I can Ringo was never arrested. That's great for Ringo, but it's a bit of a problem, let's face it, for a show in four parts about the Beatles' criminal records. There's only me on it, folks. It's the full Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> well, except Ringo. This is the last part, and Ringo never committed any offences, oh, yeah. which has completely bloody ruined the entire idea of doing this. Anyway, I'm having fun, and I hope you are. Although, we could talk about his grandchildren. Ringo has eight of them. In February 2022... Date is that? February 2022, Tatia Starkey, the 36-year-old daughter of Ringo's son, Zach, broke COVID regulations when she practised with her indie band, Bella Kiss, during lockdown. She was given a £400 fine, £85 prosecution costs, and a £40 victim surcharge. Tatia cheekily asked the court if her fine would be overturned if the then Prime Minister Boris Johnson got away with doing similar things. Let me say immediately that I've paid the fine. He didn't. She paid the fine. This is Abbey Road Studios, probably the most famous recording studios in the world. And this is probably the most famous pedestrian crossing in the world. Sonny Starkey is another of Ringo's eight grandchildren. Turns out he's mates with Oasis star Liam Gallagher and former All Saints singer Nicole Appleton's son, Gene. On the 17th of May 2019, 18-year-old Sonny and Jean were arrested at Tesco Express in Hampstead when their mate, 19-year-old model Noah Ponty, was racially abusive to a shopkeeper who refused to serve him a can of gin and tonic out of hours. It was only worth £1.70. Starkey and Gallagher threw kicks and punches at an employee who got Sonny Starkey in a headlock. Gallagher and Sonny Starkey were charged with a fray and assault, but the case collapsed. The shop CCTV clearly showed they were acting in self-defense. But Judge Greenberg at Westminster Magistrates Court was not impressed with the Children of Rock. She said Gallagher and Starkey were completely out of order, entitled young men misbehaving. She bound them over to keep the peace for 12 months. Ringo has his own rules. He doesn't do a lot of interviews, is said to tire of those who ask about the Beatles, hasn't signed autographs in years, and doesn't shake hands, bumps elbows instead. Hey, well done, Peter. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I guess Ringo could have been arrested when the Beatles performed their last concert on the roof of the Apple Building on Savile Row. It was the police who stopped it by threatening to arrest all of them for disturbing the peace. This is number three, Savile Row. The Beatles performed their last concert up there on the roof. Our police have a long history of being killjoys on the wrong side of history. And here's the magic touch. I mean, it's a fucking Ringo thing. So what happened to Detective Sergeant Norman Pilcher? He was the crooked cop 
who arrested half the Beatles along with Dusty Springfield, Mick Jagger, Eric Clapton and many, many more. Detective Sergeant Norman Pilcher was eventually convicted of perjury and planting drugs. He went to prison in 1972 for four years. He will be forever remembered as a very sorry excuse for a police officer. Far from being a respected lawman, he is the butt of many old jokes. Lennon called him Semolina Pilchard, climbing up the Eiffel Tower in I Am The Walrus. Monty Python called him Spiny Norman in the Piranha Brothers sketch. Eric Idle called him Brian Plant in the Ruttles. In the 1960s, the Met Police were horribly corrupt. It took years to root out that corruption from the Met. Much like today, the police wouldn't or couldn't do it themselves. And remember, it was judges, lawyers, journalists and public opinion that reformed the police with the Police and Criminal Evidence Act of 1984. The Beatles weren't that bad, really. They liked smoking pot. It's not the worst crime in their world. Like their music, they were ahead of their time. Cannabis is legal now just about everywhere. And the music of the Beatles is just as loved today as it ever was. The most shocking thing they did really was grow their hair long. Norman Nobby Pilcher is the villain of this story, not John, Paul, George and Ringo. But let's not end this on a bent copper. Let's end it on an uplifting legal note instead. The solicitor who represented John and Yoko and George and Patty Boyd was Martin Holden, when he was by all accounts a thoroughly decent chap and an eminent and respected solicitor. All that peace and love certainly rubbed off on him as well. He set up a charity called the Environmental Law Foundation. He brought together lawyers and experts to help communities faced with environmental problems. And they did the work for free. To find the best drummer in the world. Four drums. That's all Ringo Starr needed. Ringo was the king of feel. He's, you know, he's a song drummer. He actually used his kit in a very different way, a very creative way. Really cool, very innovative. All you need is love, but all I need is for you to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. Bye-bye, till next time. Oh, this is a long and winding road. I am the walrus. Coo-coo-coo-choo! Favourite Beatle track? Um, it's got to be... I do like... Is it Hello? Yeah. 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 I'm hello, a big goodbye. fan of... Yeah. Well, hello. hello. And goodbye. Yeah, and goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care. Have a good day. If Sean Miner sounded out of tune. Green. Come on now. It's time you little toddlers were in bed. I'm having no more messing. You've been out to the park all day. You've had a lovely time. Now it's time for bed. Are we ready? Daddy will sing a song. Now it's time. It was me. Peace and love. 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 Ringo was the coolest one.